Scott here, and I've been getting a number of questions on uh, Asana and how we're using this onboarding uh, template to get new employees and new contractors up to speed across all of our systems. So we're going to look at it a little bit more in depth. Um, template names here, we just put TPL uh, and it and it makes it for a quick reference. Uh, but when we create a copy of this project, which is what we would do for a new, a new employee, all this goes away and inside the brackets we would put uh, Scott onboarding. Um, since this is a, this would be the first interaction that someone would have with us, um, we wanted to be clear about right off the bat, what's your time budget to complete this, to go through the things. And we found three hours to be more than enough. Um, it's if someone's on if someone's off track in terms of being able to onboard to the technology they're going to go over three hours if they're on track they're going to be well under three hours uh, so three hours gives us time for uh, for us to kind of get even an early indication if someone's doing well or not with the tools um, or just really you know how ready they are for the technology setup here which um our setup for technology is uh, very intuitive and very convenient overall, um, but you know it's also unique to accounting. So not everyone has experience with uh, Slack, Asana, and all the plugins between those and Gmail and Google Drive. Um, but before we even get to this time budget and into the sections here, which we have several of them, before I hire someone, we go through a screening process, um, and I just check these off before they get in here. Um, so uh, before beforehand, I'm like, okay, have I looked over their LinkedIn URL? Have I double checked their internet speeds fast? Have they completed their workspace, uh, their um, mindset quiz, which kind of is a short Google Forms that we did um, that would, uh, you know, help us know if someone's a growth versus fixed mindset. Uh, you can read uh, Dweck's book on that if you're interested. Just type in growth mindset. Um, and then we want to hear about what their workspace is like. Uh, then we do part of the interview is going to be video. We jump to video very often. Um, we go from Slack to video. We don't really do phone calls uh, at all internally. So our first interview is always by inter by video, and then uh, we'll usually do like you know some type of email follow up, and, and we're gauging how their responses are in text. Um, once they're hired, I have a number of tasks to do. Um, like, and this is actually a lot of stuff that could eventually be put into better cloud and, um, you know, systematize a little bit more, but right now it's really not hard. Uh, I give them a, I give them a Google account. I get them a sauna access. I get them the last pass. I get them on Slack, make sure they're on T sheets, um, paper space, which is our, uh, windows computers. Uh, we use virtual windows computers for all of our work, uh, cause the, the environment's very secure. And uh, then we can uh, get them with a Chromebook later on if they're an employee or if they're not an employee. Uh, we just will make sure that they're they're using our secure environment and not their own. Um, and then we get them uh, access to our tax software to, to do the work. Uh, there's some templated messages in here like with Google, we use two level uh, two factor authentication. So one of the most crucial one of the crucial pieces when someone creates a new account is to get them their their backup code um, what happens if they log in the first time uh, and they don't set up their two-factor authentication as soon as they log out they can't get back in um, most people are good about uh, about once i send them the code uh, setting it up i make that i make the process pretty clear um, but you know it happens every once in a while and it happened enough and it was in like a kind of a, a nuance to the setup process uh, that we just went ahead and, and made it clear and broke it out. Uh, everything else is normal. Just give them invites to, to all these different things. Um, and then for Google Drive, we set up a an alert. So if they download files, uh, I get an alert immediately to know that they're downloading any files because everything we do sits in the cloud and stays in the cloud so that we really shouldn't get any alerts. And, and nor do we. Um, so once we finish off that, we go through a one, two, three, 
four, five, really five sections. And, and then the sixth one is something that lingers on for the first few weeks, um, really to make sure that we can check in and that they're doing okay. So we go through um, high level of this task, go in order. This is meant to be 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Don't jump around. Um, getting your W9 set up, or if that's if that's what we're doing for a contractor. Um, then we kind of give them some background, like we're a systems mindset firm, and that's to really say we're process oriented. And you should kind of get an idea that things are made in templates and we're trying to improve the process and work on the process because you can see here that we are, we are, you're already working in the process in the template. And it got to this point because we started out with something different and it's evolved into this. Um, then we asked them, Hey, as you go through, we're, we, we're, we're kind of cursed by the fact that we've worked on this and that we well, we're never going to be new again. So we rely on new people coming in to get feedback so we can keep improving and enhancing this, this experience and, and giving, you know, giving someone their first touch of working here exactly how we want it to be. Um, so, and then, uh, and then if they're getting into their Chromebook, um, we have a few things there on like, okay, when you first set it up, because it's managed, you have to do this funky little thing with control E. Um, after that, we have a, um, a welcome slide deck uh, that we send over. It's really just like, it goes into, it gets sent to them via Slack as soon as they log in there. So um, it gives them a high level overview of, of some of our tools, what to do. Um, it's it's a, presented a lot nicer than, than having a bunch of sections and a bunch of like line items. Um, so it's just a different way to, to kind of get exposure to the tools. Uh, we asked them to set up their logins. I want to make sure they can get into their paper space. Um, there's some reference tasks to uh, firm background. Uh, one that's really important here is about our security protocols. And we have our blog post. So we really like, besides reviewing the, the security blog post, um, highlighting a few things like, we need to use LastPass. We have to have unique uh, passwords, and we can't send passwords loose. They all go through LastPass. Um, that that helps bring in our first level of security. And and the second one is we use two-factor authentication everywhere. Um, we give them an onboarding buddy. Um, teach them how to clock in, so that way we're tracking things really well. Um, but okay, so you get through your start here. Then after that, you have your day one setup. Um, then we have day one setups for tax preparers and then after day one, so this is the first part up to part four is really what we're trying to do in the first three hours. Uh, then we get into week one and these are things we want to make sure that they have done and they have, uh, they're all set by the time they're, they're at the end of their first week. Um, and then, so we'll check in on those items here. We'll sign that out to someone um, like me and we'll, we'll set the due date so that it's a weekend. And then we get to the week two check-in, um, which is just really another another touching point that's in the calendar to say, hey, like, are we doing okay? So um, to drill this down, like in day one setup, really the, the things that we really want them to do is to get to be the most productive right off the bat, what things you need to put on your phone. Slack's really important, Asana, LastPass, Google Authenticator, um, and the Google Authenticator is for, for the two-factor authentication. Um, but if you have Slack, then we already know you're going you're gonna to learn everything else. As soon as we get that in there, you can communicate with the team. You're going to be fine. Um, and since you're already in Asana because you're working on this, uh, I, I, I know you have access there. Um, so, so we're not too concerned that, about that. We ask people to create a profile on the Meet the Team section. That way, uh, we can see where everyone's at, where their birthdays are, where they're from, and uh, and get a picture of them. Kind of, you know, we're all virtual. We do a lot of video, but the more we 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 our best practices, we put our pictures. So you can see, there's a couple here. We put our pictures anywhere possible. If there's an ability to put a profile picture, shove it up there because we want to see human faces to not lose that human touch. Um, in Slack, we do uh, we we set up a custom color scheme that matches the white blue colors. Um, we talk about up, like we just said, update your profile picture everywhere. So we ask them to do that in Google, Slack, etc. Uh, email settings, 
getting them um, some of the, the right default behavior and also delegating their um, email inbox to me as well as maybe some other people that need to, to see it. Uh, that way, if they're not there, we still have access to, to emails that a client may send and we can respond. Uh, we can talk about some Chrome extensions, but really if you are on our login, we will automatically install these extensions that you need. So it's not a big deal. I can get rid of that one. Um, then you go, you end, end day one by scheduling your week one check-in. Uh, P10 and CPA numbers, just some stuff that we need. And then uh, we have a few training videos that are all here on um, using, our, using our tools. A fun thing on the week one is we get a, a personality test done, and that that's a really fun talking point to come back to the team and say and go over, hey, this is you know this is what I learned in the personality test, uh, and and it's it's kind of insightful and again it's a, it's just a lot of fun. Um, let me see how to fascinate is the one that we use. Okay, you can check out my results. Uh, we're very transparent, so you can see mine and the rest of the teams. Kind of a new to Asana, giving you a little bit of a um, giving you a little bit of a, a background on it. And we have some videos on Asana that we asked them to check out to get a better idea. Um, okay, I'm at a coffee shop, and then I slow. Can I do work outside of it? Uh, yeah, but we want you on a VPN at the minimum. Um, if you're using your Chromebook, it comes it comes pretty well secure from us. Uh, but if you're using uh, another, maybe like Windows computer, um, which which we don't ask people to do, but if you know sometimes um, they already have a work computer completely set up, very secure. They've gone through all of our checkpoints. They have the right antivirus, etc. We just say just be on the VPN um, and. Try not to access anything crazy. Don't don't make a habit out of it. Um, what's on my virtual computer? Uh, we have Adobe. Um, we have Adobe set up on there. We use TikTai and Calculate, which is tax software. Uh, we use Microsoft Calculator. We do some. We have some GIF stuff. Um, Drake or CCH uh, tax access for our tax software. We, we have Chrome uh, Crap Cleaner installed, uh, and then the things that this is already there and I'm not highlighting uh, the antivirus and the anti-spyware because it's, it's all cloud-based and it's, it's already, um, it's already on there. So I don't need them to think about it because it automatically runs. And what should they install on their, their physical computer? Uh, if they don't have it, they really need to make sure they have AODocs and LastPass and make sure they have their VPN. We use IP vanish across the board. Okay, and then really by the time we get to the day one, we're, we're thinking, hey, you got through your tasks, are you set? We don't want to overwhelm them, so if they did that, perfect. Uh, by week one, we want to know that they've, um, they've checked these tasks off, they're communicating well in Slack, they have access to Drive, they can get into the, the software that they need to get into. Um, they should be fully functioning in terms of uh, admin by this time and then ask questions to have sorted out access. And then um, week two, Week two, uh, there's not much written in here because it's a little more fluid. It's another check-in. It's making sure they're meeting team members and that they're really going out uh, of their way to, to be more integrated. And then, uh, you know, if I have this security questions to just kind of have an idea if they're not using our Chromebooks, which at this point, everyone's using a firm issued Chromebook. So this isn't really an issue, but we make sure they're using Windows 10 Pro version. That way they can do, um, they can encrypt the, the hard drive, or if they have Mac, um, making sure hard drive encryption's there. We wanna make sure there's a login, um, a password login, um, antivirus, spyware, VPN, really the, the, whole, the whole thing and to, to be secure if they're not on a Chromebook. And this is, by having this, um, this template on board all together, it really, it's been really helpful to bring that not forget any of these steps and be consistent about asking questions, having the check-in in, and making sure you're introducing enough information but not too much information. 
uh, recognizing that they're going to learn a lot on the job um, that you don't need to throw everything at them here but catching where you know maybe we thought we were being clear but some people weren't necessarily uh, uh communicating uh, you know as much as they should have in the beginning so we added it in here to, to emphasize like hey be on slack make sure you're messaging people putting it part of the check-in that are you communicating with the team are you being introduced uh, to, to others because if you ha if you're at the end of week one and you haven't met anyone else um, it's that we got to go back to the team and say hey make sure you're introducing yourself to the new person uh, but it also tells the new person that that's not that's not right that's not normal uh, you're not doing anything wrong we got to fix it again that doesn't happen uh, very often but we 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 want we want to emphasize the things that we find important here and that human interaction is incredibly important because again, we're, we're completely distributed. So this is, uh, this is our onboarding um, template. And this is as of November, 2018. It's been pretty consistent for the last couple of years. So if you have any questions uh, or wanna see the evolution of it, go ahead and message uh, scott at whyblue.com. I'm really happy to talk about it or, or go through um, any of the tools that we have here so you can apply it to, to your firm.